The state's preparing to execute 64-year-old convicted murderer James Barber. Barber convicted in the death of a 75-year-old Madison County woman in 2004. Alabama Governor Kay Ivey is allowing an extension to the window scheduled for Barber's execution. A News 19 investigative reporter Dallas Parker joins us now in the studio with the latest on this. That's right. Governor Ivey announced she would be extending this execution window by six hours. Now the prison system will have a little more than a full day to set up and administer the lethal injection cocktail and execute Barber barring any pending appeals or stays from the courts. Now, the execution window in Alabama has been 24 hours until now. Governor Ivey is allotting a total of 30 hours for Barber's scheduled execution. He's set to die by lethal injection at some point during a time frame beginning at midnight on Thursday, July 20th and ending at 6 a.m. on Friday, July 21st. That's the first time the state has followed the Alabama Supreme Court's new procedure of allowing the governor to set a time frame for executions rather than the court issuing an execution warrant for a single 24 hour period. That rule was recently changed following the governor's three month halt to lethal injections during an internal investigation. Now, Barber was convicted in Madison County for the 2001 killing of 75 year old Dorothy Epps. Madison County District Attorney Rob Broussard tells News 19 Barber knew Epps because she had done home repair work for her and Epps was beaten with uh, to death with a claw hammer in her harvest home back then in 2001. Barber stole her purse after that brutal killing. Now, in a lawsuit filed by Barber's attorneys in the U.S. Middle District of Alabama's last week, Barber, his lawyers argue he should be executed by nitrogen hypoxia, suffocation on pure nitrogen, instead of lethal injection. The lawsuit calls this method a readily available alternative, even though Barber did not opt to die by that new method in 2018.